Welcome to the SpinFi Professional Training Demo. In this section, we'll review how to cross-section a model. With your model open in SpinFi Professional, go to the 3D Document Toolbar, where you'll find the cross-section icon. The default setting in SpinFi Professional is a YZ section plane that will create a section through the YZ plane normal to the x-axis. You can enable this by selecting on the icon and you can see the default cross-section. To disable this, reselect the icon. Now let's go and try another cross-section. From the drop-down list, go to Align and select XY Section Plane. Select the vertex somewhere on the part. You are seeing now the positive side of the section cut. If you right click on one of the gray spots, a handle, and select flip, you will now see the opposite side of the section cut plane. The handles on the section cut plane allow you to translate and rotate the plane to a new position for even greater control. When you select a plane handle, a label will display the position of the plane's center point and the cross section length which is the sum of all points where the cross-section plane intersects the model. Now let's create a three vertices section cut. From the drop-down list, choose three vertices. The first two that you choose will define the plane edge, and the third vertex will define the angle of the section cut. Now we'll create a two vertices section plane. Select the vertex you want the plane to go through, which is the first, and the next will define the perpendicular line. Now we'll create a two screen points cross section plane. The two points that you choose do not have to be vertex points and do not even have to be on the model the initial plane will pass through the two points you select. The ability to create a cross-section is very powerful, but you'd also like to save the view, which contains a cross-section, as there may be markup labels defined. Go to the Views tab, and under user views, create a new user view. We'll call it section one. We'll add a 3D vertex note. And when done, we'll go to the properties and create a hyperlink for this note. Type in crosshatch section 1. When you type this in, it must be exactly the same as what you labeled your new user view, so that when you deselect the cross section and move around the model, you will select on the section 1 hyperlink and it will return to the exact same position as your user saved view. The cross-section view on the Views tab displays the cross-section profile, which consists of points where the cross-section plane intersects the model. A cross-section plane must be enabled in order for the cross-section view to be available. By default, a cross-section plane will cut through the geometry of a 3D scene so that the material of one side is visible and the other side is invisible. You can disable this by going to the cross-section icon and deselecting Cut Material. Now you can see the entire model, but the cross-section function is still enabled, and you can see an outline of the section of the model. 
You can change the color of this outline by going to the tab, choosing a new color from the color palette, so that your cross-section is more visible.